week seven. Here's my belly. I'm not sucking in, but it's there. Now I'm sucking in and it's still a little bit there. So I'm gaining a little bit there, which doesn't surprise me because I have been so nauseous. There have been a couple days when all I could do is just sleep on the couch or wherever I could just even pass out on the floor practically. My poor kids. They come and ask me questions and I tell them just take care of it or whatever. Hmm. I've tried all sorts of kinds of food. And some worked, some didn't. Spinach in a green drink, you know, like with a banana, some rice milk or almond milk, too sweet. It took me a while to get down. Luckily it stayed down, but it was still just uh, too sweet. I've got to figure out a different way to do it. Spinach, uh, not spinach, lettuce, really good with tangy, kind of soury ranch dressing. I like this one, no MSG. That's a good benefit. Eggs. These are hard-boiled eggs. Um, poached eggs were working really awesome. Um, so I tried to boil them to see if it would work just as great, and it's okay. I prefer the poached. It's kind of a runny yolk instead of a hard-boiled yolk that's too dry. Um, but if I mix a little mayonnaise up with them, then they seem to do okay. I was eating a poached egg uh, once or twice a night <laughs> to make it through the night. Buttermilk. Um, works but it blisters my lips dang it I wish it didn't because it really it does calm my gut down if I don't drink too much of it just a little bit seems to go a long way salmon I thought it would work it's supposed to be really awesome for my body but man tasting salmon for the rest of the day and being nauseous is just so unpleasant lemon oil now this is pretty cool this is young living lemon oil essential oil it's food grade um, I put a couple drops in my water now and again, and it's really nice. It changes up the water. I'm drinking a lot of ice water. And anyway, there's a change. Soy yogurt, too sweet. If I can find a tangy plain soy yogurt, then I'll go for it even more. But uh, I can handle it maybe as a dessert type of thing. But man, on a nauseous day, uh, stay away from it. I will at least. Cottage cheese, like the buttermilk seem to work okay but again blistering my lips lovely milk lovely dairy love it but it does not like me so i have to find an alternative to that gin gins chewy ginger candy these are quite good a gal recommended them just not strong enough and i ended up burping and tasting ginger for the rest of the day so i don't recommend it saltine crackers way too dry rice checks on the other hand are my new saltine cracker keep these by my bed and I munch on a few before I get up and it seems to help cut a little bit of the nauseousness as I'm getting out of bed which is really nice I'm grateful for that boy am I grateful for that Minute Maid well let me rephrase it just orange juice a decent orange juice um, I was surprised how well it went over though I did drink too much and ended up with a little heartburn <laughs> but it was really quite good and it really did surprise me chicken um, I think this might become my new favorite because last night we had chicken for dinner and so through the night a couple times during the night three times actually I got up and ate a little bit of leftover chicken and I slept quite well um, which was wow what a relief so I'm cooking up more chicken for my nighttime snacks all right so here's the big story nauseous for a week awfully nauseous but why I couldn't figure it out so I'm walking downstairs where my room is and we have a fridge down there and I thought man something in that fridge has really gone bad but I keep walking down the hallway like oh it's not the fridge I walk into another room and it smells even worse oh no and then my nose identifies the smell dead mouse in the wall pregnant with morning sickness and a dead mouse in the wall awful 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 thing so I look it up online and it looks like I've got seven to ten weeks of either camping outside, living outside, or making my home upstairs where I can have the windows open and the breeze blow through. So, introduce my bed. So this is my bed for the next seven to ten days. Can't say it's super comfortable and it's certainly not wide enough. I might be trying to find an alternative. Uh, 
put the mattress on the floor last night and slept decent. I certainly breathed better and I woke up more refreshed than I did sleeping downstairs. Mm, how lovely for the next week and a half or so. Mm. At least if, if that smell downstairs will go away, that'll be great. We've set traps all over the house. Let's hope they work. Oh, please let's hope they work. What else today? I went and I got an acupuncture treatment called Welcoming the Baby from my chiropractor holistic guy who both helped me get my body ready to conceive and who has a track record of helping women keep their baby. So I had my first acupuncture session. We'll see if I even need to do more. I have to stimulate. See these little dots? There's one. There's one. If I showed you my feet, I have quite a few. I have to stimulate them three times a day, three, three times for three times a day for the next oh, week, week and a half. And then he'll check my energy levels and see how it goes. And I sure hope it helps because I have been so exhausted. I'm almost dysfunctional as far as being a mom goes and keeping the place decent. That's it. Hopefully you have a great time and see you next week.